Okay, so if you're like me, your phone probably makes you sad and anxious and less productive. Sound familiar? In today's video, I want to show you how I reduce my scream, t scream time. Hello? I'm sorry, I guess I dialed the wrong number. Oh, it happens. Take it easy. Screen time from about five hours a day to less than one hour per day. It also reduced my anxiety levels and gave me back so much more free time to spend on things I actually enjoy doing instead of doom scrolling. Anyway, in today's video, we are talking about the minimalist phone app, which has saved my productivity. It's an amazing app. It's actually a launcher. It actually takes over your phone and essentially makes it boring. And that's the whole point. So let's jump into the minimalist phone app and let me show you some of my favorite features. Okay, so when you have this app or launcher downloaded and installed, your phone is gonna look a lot like this. You might notice there are no colors, there are no apps, there are basically just two pages that you can slide between. And it's very boring and that's the whole point. So straight off the bat, let me just point out a couple of things on this home screen. This circle around the time, that's actually your battery percentage. It's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty close to what your percentage actually is. So at a first glance, you can see where your battery level is at. And as you can see on my home screen here, I have three apps essentially on the home screen that I use pretty regularly and I don't want to spend a lot of time searching for. So I just have these here. They are not apps that I can get sucked into and waste a lot of time in. These are more for a practical use, like for work and when I'm commuting. And then down in the bottom left hand corner, you see the phone icon and in the bottom right corner, you see your camera icon. So that covers our home screen. There's not a whole lot going on here and that's the point. So if we scroll to the left, you're going to see our list of apps. No icons, no colors, nothing that will entice you to want to open it essentially. So let's say we want to limit the amount of time we spend on the Blue Sky app. So let's click on Blue Sky. And straight away, it's going to bring up this, how much time do you want to spend on Blue Sky now? Which honestly is a little bit passive aggressive, but I'm here for it. So you can select the time that you want to spend on Blue Sky. And when that time is up, it gives you three options. So let's have a look at those three options by clicking on the three dots. Now, when your time is over, you can have a mindful extension delay, which I'll show you in just a second. You can exit the app when time is over, or you can just have it remind you like, hey, your time is up. Okay. So I like to have it on mindful extension delay and I'll show you why and actually we're going to turn this feature on right now so just above that you're going to see mindful launch delay make sure that toggle is switched on so when we click on blue sky now it brings up this eight second mindful launch delay which honestly is enough to make me want to just close this app most of the time because when I found myself opening apps out of just pure habit honestly that mindful launch delay was enough to annoy me to want to just close it and go and do something else. So let's say we actually do want to use the Blue Sky app. We let the mindful launch delay do its thing and then we select the amount of time that we want to spend in this app. So those two features alone, I have found reduces my screen time significantly. So there are a couple of more options that we can choose from here if we long press on any of the apps. Let's take a look. So again, using the Blue Sky app, if I long press, it brings up this new menu. And as you can see, we have time reminder active that's toggled on. You can add this app to favorites, which will just add it to your home screen like this. If you want to get rid of it, you can just again, long press and remove it from there. So let's go back. The block feature is pretty clever. I've blocked some apps like Instagram and Facebook apps that I'm trying to completely just get out of my life. So if you click on block, it brings up this option for how much time you want to spend being blocked or locked out of an app. So you can choose between four hours all the way up to 30 days, depending on how committed you are to reducing your screen time. Now, the feature that I'm most excited about in this menu right here is blocking schedules. So if we click on blocking schedules, it brings up mindful morning and no screen evening. Mindful morning is what has reduced my screen time probably the most. As you can see here, my schedule is blocking apps from 11 o'clock at night all the way till 10 o'clock the next morning, which has helped me reduce a lot of screen time. Now that alone has reduced my screen time significantly because I would wake up in the morning and I would scroll my phone for no joke, like two hours just reading absolute harsh that I don't care about, that I don't miss. Remember that these apps are designed to suck our attention and make us angry and sad. So first thing in the morning, spending two hours just pissing yourself off, totally not worth it. You're better off having a mindful morning by blocking those apps, getting them out of your life so you don't suck the life out of you. So you can actually do something else with your time, like, I don't know, look out a window or climb a tree, whatever, it doesn't matter. Literally do anything else that's not staring into your phone, looking for, I don't know, 
validation or distraction, whatever it is that you're missing in here. Okay, so let's exit this menu now and I'll show you my work folder. So if we swipe back here to our apps, you can see at the very top it has work folder. And these are just the apps that I use for work so I can kind of get to them quicker than having to type them in or scroll down this list and find them, which again, like is another feature of making the phone hard to use and uh, really boring. So my work folder has the apps that I use for work and I'll just close it. So to create a work folder or any folder, you can just long press on one of the apps, brings up all these options again, and you can select move to folder. You can select new folder or you can change the name of the existing folder. This video is not sponsored, by the way, in any shape or form. I just like to review things that I find actually useful. And this app has been, or this launcher has been extremely useful for me. Another feature, just in case this black and white setup is too much for you, you can click on the cog down here on the bottom right hand corner on the second page. And that opens this menu here. And under display, you can change the color theme. You can invert it so it's white and black, which is honestly, you could probably use that as a light if you wanted to do that, kind of multi-purpose it. Uh, I think that's too much on my eyes, so I'm just gonna move it back to black. And you can see all the colors you can choose from there. Yeah. And let's say this launcher is not for you. This is how you disable it. Come down here to device settings, and scroll down to apps, default apps, click on home app, which is the minimalist app, and then you can select which launcher you want to go back to. So this is a Google Pixel phone. So I would use Pixel Launcher or the Nova Launcher, either or, but for now I'm leaving it on minimalist phone because yeah, for obvious reasons. So right now this app unfortunately is only available for Android, but I will link some apps like minimalist that are made for iPhone in the description box below. I believe there is a free seven day trial. If you are an Android user and you're curious about this app, I do highly recommend it again. Not a sponsored video, nobody has reached out to me about making this. This is just something that I found very useful for my own productivity. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one.